Hello, my name's Pip from England. And Pip is a, an orphan. Ivan from Russia. And um, God, I, my name's Mick from Sydney, Australia, down under. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm not doing it very well right now. When I was a kid, I just decided, I was like, I want to be an actor. And I, I think I was 10, 11. I did my first audition for a play. In, in Tennessee, we, there's not a lot of opportunities to be an actor. There's community theater, and, and that's it. So I auditioned for my first play. I can't remember what it was, but I remember not booking it and crying nonstop for like a week, just being like, you know, no one loves me type of thing. And my mom was just like, you know, if you want to be an actor, you need to, you know, toughen up. How do I <clears throat> use those experiences to enhance my performance? Uh, anytime you can, you know, come close to home with something you've experienced, obviously, uh, helps as an actor um, anytime like I, I have, I'm playing a character who feels like he was abandoned or or you know is really close with his mother I, I did a movie called Shadow where it's um, a, the, the young man's father dies when he's very young and and so it's just him and his mother so I was able to use a lot of that yeah Brothers Keeper would definitely be the hardest role I've ever taken on um, playing a mentally handicapped um, young man is, is man, you can't even begin to express how hard it is to do and to do respectfully and be sensitive about the subject matter. I think overall, <clears throat> my favorite experience was playing Todd Richards, though. Um, not just playing the character, but um, working with the people I got to work with. I don't mean to take anything away from the other actors and the other filmmakers I've worked with, but there was just something very special about that project. The gospel has everything to do with my career. Um, I tried going into this industry, chasing fame and fortune, and abandoning everything I was taught as a, as a child, as a kid. Um, and look where that put me, you know? If, if you know enough about my backstory, you, you can see like that just was a downhill road. I mean, I had to be seriously, seriously humbled to a point where I was just desperate for the truth for that missionary act, for someone to bring me back to the church to kind of reignite that fire of, I want to act, I love to act. It's something I absolutely enjoy doing. Um, and I, I put them together. Like I, I, I couldn't be an actor if I didn't have the gospel. It is not easy um, trying to live the standards of the church and being in an industry that is very far from it for the most part. I, I think that's one of the tough parts of going into this industry um, is kind of figuring out where you draw that line, things you will do, things you won't do. So for me, I am internally grateful for uh, just the church and, and anyone who was a, played a part in bringing me back to, or in my conversion. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm very proud and happy to admit that I'm a Mormon and I have a testimony of it.